What's going on everybody? Unless you've been living under a rock, artificial intelligence apps have been the craze lately. Specifically the ones that create artistic avatars like Lenza AI. But AI apps have been getting a lot of backlash from artists lately. There's some arguments that some of the art that's being used is not consensual. The artist has not consented for their art to be used. So that's when it comes into legal issues. So let's chat about that for a second. For example, what are some of these apps and what exactly do they do? And this is the end of society as we know it. Okay, so have you guys heard of this artificial intelligence software? One is called Dolly 2, one is called Mid Journey, another is called ChatGPT, another one is called Voice Mod and it'll change your voice. This is Voice Mod, where you can make your voice sound like different voices. Very similar to the voices you probably heard on TikTok. This this AI technology is getting kind of crazy. Now to the regular person, they're like, what the heck are you saying? You're speaking another language. And to me, I was like, same as well. And this rain is so loud. I hope it's not distracting in the background. It's kind of soothing. Let's just take a moment to soak in the zen-ness of nature for a moment. Essentially what Dolly, Dolly 2, and Mid Journey do is they're able to create art based upon the prompts or the description that you put in. Dolly 2 says, Dolly 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. So you could type in teddy bear riding a surfboard in outer space, right? And it will create that image for you. Dolly 2 has learned the relationship between images and the text used to describe them. It uses a process called diffusion, which starts with a pattern of random dots and gradually alters that pattern toward an image when it recognizes specific aspects of that image. Mid Journey is also really cool. In order to use Mid Journey though, you have to have a Discord account. You could use it to think of creative ideas. Some people have had like crazy dreams and they type the description in and to generate what they saw in their dream. All these to take prompts and make things, they basically were trained off of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of images to be able to create unique individual pieces based on other pieces that they found on the internet. The cool part about this as of right now is that you can legally use these images. So if you wanted to type in something on Mid Journey or Dolly and print it out as a poster in your office, dope. You know what I mean? Like it's yours. If you want to generate and send it to a friend, it's really cool. The other one that's really popular right now is ChatGPT. There are people that's used this application to use it to type up their assignments in college. There's people that's used ChatGPT to come up with their YouTube ideas. Essentially what this is, think about AOL or AIM back in the day when you had a little chat bot and you could like chat to it and then it'll talk back and you have a conversation. That's kind of what this is. Again, this was trained from the information being put into that and specifically it is generated to be positive and to help you be creative. It is very interesting. So you can type in anything on chat GPT, come up with cool scenarios. Like my daughter always asks me bedtime stories. So I said, I wonder could it come up with an idea of a story? You can type in like, write me a story about two dogs living in outer space. And it will literally generate a story about two dogs living in outer space. It is just super neat to see this technology. And again, I'm just a tech enthusiast. I like technology. I like uh, computer software. I'm kind of nerdy like that. I like photography, live videography. I like all the things. And I just want to share this with you guys and see what your thoughts are about that. So where some of the drama is coming in is that a lot of artists feel like their art may have been used to train this artificial intelligence without their consent. And then that's where things are getting a little iffy. Now, I don't know if artificial intelligence will necessarily take away the artist's job, but if you think about it, if AI is specifically trained using artist's art, and people can generate that art on a computer without having to hire the artist, the artist feels like you're stealing from them if you have used their artwork. There's been situations where art communities have basically gone against using their images to train the AI. Recently, I saw that Shutterstock has has partnered with Dolly to use their images to train the AI. What can be kind of ethically or morally wrong would be like if you typed in, you know, uh, a famous artist that is alive today and you said, create this art based on this person's art style. Now it'd be wrong to sell that morally and ethically because that's copying someone else's work and portraying it as your own. Now I think artists need to get paid 
somehow or no another for their original works. Now the difficult part about this is that probably a lot of artists don't copyright their work. So it might be on the internet for free and then artificial intelligence programs are taking this artwork and creating the ability to use pieces of this artwork for their own thing. So. And, but the thing is, I think artists should be able to decide whether or not they want their artwork involved in this. But right now, if I think if artists have a issue with it, they have to take it to court. Like, you know what I mean? Like you gotta take it to the Supreme Court or something like that to decide what kind of law can be used because fair use and copyright are like up in the air when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, um, but I personally will still be buying art from legit artists because but then the question becomes, what is legit art? It's because there's nothing like having custom work or work from an artist that you admire. Like, I don't think AI is gonna replace artists at all. If anything, it's like more amazing that there's artists out there that can create dope artwork that people literally have to type in prompts on a computer to come up with in the first place because their brain, like we can't even comprehend some of this art. <laughs> like I had to take it from here to here. I think us as a society can use applications like ChatGPT, Dolly, Midjourney to help inspire our creativity and help us progress as a society. As long as we don't let robots take us over, I think we'll be in a good place. Maybe I'll make some future videos about some of this artificial intelligence stuff so I can share it with you guys, but it's very interesting to me. It is so interesting. So I had to share it with you guys. It's really cool. If you guys like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below on your thoughts on artificial intelligence and these applications as software. Take it easy, squeezy. Happy New Year. Like, comment, and subscribe.